Today we got a big CNC LS head shootout. We have the 245 Trick Flow Cathedral Port Heads versus the 255 CNC ported Trick Flow Rec Port Heads on a 427 stroker. Who you got? Hello everybody, I'm Richard Holdner, and if it's your first time here, welcome. We're gonna have some dyno results, and if you've been here before, you already know we're gonna have some dyno results. Today we're taking a look at a comparison between Cathedral Port Heads and Rec Port Heads, more specifically, Trick Flow 245 Cathedral Port Heads and Trick Flow 255 Rec Port Heads, both of them CNC ported, both in the same chamber, both of them run on a 427 with a big camshaft in it, so you know we're gonna take advantage of all the airflow that they have to offer, and not only that, we ran each of the heads with two different intake manifolds. That's right, we ran two different intake manifolds on the 245 heads, two different intake manifolds on the 255 heads, and we're gonna compare both of them. But before we do that, let's take a look at the other test that I did comparing rec port heads to cathedral port heads to get the rec port heads guys nice and mad so you can get your revenge. Okay, we're gonna go, go through these first two tests fairly quickly. These were the early tests that I ran comparing cathedral ports to rec ports, and unfortunately I didn't test ported uh, rec port heads in these tests because I just didn't have them but we'll take a look at these results and then we can jump into the testing that was run at Brian Tooth Racing comparing you know more accurately comparing rec port and cathedral ports on a big motor both of them ported you know kind of back to back apples to apples kind of thing but this test was run on a 408 stroker we'll go ahead and take a look at our test description really quickly it's a 408 stroker four inch you know four inch stroker crank 430 bore, had forged internals in it. It had a good size comp cam in it, 624 lift, 239, 255, and a 114 degree LSA. It had a fast LSXR intake manifold, and we ran fast manifolds both on the cathedral port heads and on the rec port heads. We had 75 pound injectors, um, 102 millimeter throttle body. We first started, we had a Morosa oil pan and stuff, so it was a good 408 motor. We, we had a, a slight dish piston in this thing. We ran first with a set of stock 317 heads, and the thing produced 542 horsepower and 525 foot-pounds of torque. And what I wanted to show was what a good upgrade a factory set of LS3 or LY6 heads would be, and we showed that. The peak power jumped up to 580 horsepower, so a good change in power and 543 foot-pounds, but then I wanted to show what happens when we add almost any kind of aftermarket uh, cathedral port head on this kind of application, and again, we picked up quite a bit of power, up over 600 horsepower, 603 horsepower, 554 foot-pounds of torque, but again, <laughs> the complaint is, hey Richard, but you did not run then a set of ported rec port heads, and again, it wasn't by design. All I was trying to do is show the things that we were talking about. Let's take a look at one other example where we did a very similar test. Okay, did a very similar test, this time on a 6-liter LY6, the motor that would eventually become the Big Bang Theory motor. And uh, we ran 799 heads and then upgraded those with the factory LS3 heads or LY6 heads and then put a set of ported um, aftermarket cathedral port heads. In this case, they were TrickFlow 225s. And our combination, as I said, was a 6-liter LY6. We ran the 799s with a Dorman LS2 intake manifold, fast 92-millimeter throttle body, inch and 7 8 hooker headers. We had a Comp 459 camshaft. I'll go ahead and put the specs up here so you guys can take a look at that. I had uh, stock rockers, and obviously um, both of the factory heads had valve spring upgrades on them. So, oh, the cam here was a 617, 624. 231, 239, and a 114. And equipped as such, our combination produced 522, 23 horsepower, and 480 foot-pounds of torque with the 790 factory 799 heads. Here's what happened when we installed the LS3 heads. You know, good gain. Again, like we saw previously, you're losing power up to around 4,000 with the rec port head upgrade. The rec port heads didn't make more power, 542 horsepower, and peak torque was up to 492 foot-pounds. Here's what happened when we put the aftermarket uh, 225 heads on. Peak power jumped up to 576 horsepower. Peak torque was up to... 508 or 9 foot-pounds of torque. So it did did really well and and again it was 
you know, better than the rec port stuff, basically all, all the way through the RPM range and made a lot more peak power. The 225 heads did have a fast manifold on them. The 799 heads only had a dormant intake manifold on them. But now let's take a look and see what happened when we ran, you know, a much more closer comparison between a set of TrickFlow 245 Cathedral heads and TrickFlow 255 rec port heads. Okay, now let's take a look at a comparison that we ran between a set of TrickFlow 245 CNC ported Cathedral port heads and a set of TrickFlow 255 CNC ported Rec port heads on the same 427. So our test motor was a 427 LS7 stroker, well, stroker, <laughs> LS7 short block. It had a set of forged uh, Molly pistons flat tops with valve reliefs. Um, both of the heads were both milled, so the chamber volume was within 1cc of each other. The combination had this big Brian Tooley Racing camshaft in. I'll go ahead and put the specs up here. Both of them ran the same cam. Both of them ran the same uh, shaft rocker setup. Both of them ran the same uh, header and exhaust setup. Both of them were run, we're going to show you, both of these combinations were run with two different intake manifolds uh, for each of the different heads. We're going to start out with the equalizer intake manifold. And both cylinder heads were run with their respective versions of the equalizer intake manifold. Manifold, and both of them tuned by James Short with the um, Haltech stuff. So we ran the first uh, test with the Cathedral Port heads and the equalizer intake manifold. Combination produced right under 700 horsepower, 698 horsepower. Peak torque checked in at 566 foot pounds. Here's what happened when we swapped over. Well. We, the guys at Brian Tui Racing, swapped over to the TrickFlow 255 rec port heads and matching equalizer uh, rec port intake manifold, same throttle body. Peak power was up and basically up everywhere to 705 or 706 horsepower and peak torque was up to 576 foot pounds of torque, 575 foot pounds of torque. So it did well. The interesting thing is I expected given the change in airflow between the cylinder heads, I expected there to be more of a gain at the top and less of a gain at the bottom, but we see fairly consistent gains all the way through. This is something we normally associate with um, things like compression ratio boost if we have it, but this thing had the same compression ratio for both sets of cylinder heads. So it's interesting. I kind of expected given that one head flows more than the other that we would have saw, you know, smaller gains down low and then bigger gains up top, but that's actually not what happened. The rec port head was kind of better everywhere. Now we didn't run the cathedral port head down below 3500. I'm thinking we probably could have seen something down there where the cathedral port head, typically they tend to make more low speed power, but on a combination like this, you know, 700 plus horsepower, you're really not, and, and 7500 plus RPM, you're not really looking for power down to 2500 RPM. So now let's check out what happened when we ran the same test, but with the Trinity intake. In addition to running both of those cylinder heads, the TrickFlow 245 Cathedral ports and the TrickFlow 255 Rec ports with the equalizer intake manifold, the test was run exactly the same with the Trinity intake manifold, and the Trinity intake manifold tends to make a little bit more power than the equalizer intake manifold. So it's a direct comparison again between the Cathedral ports and the Rec ports, 
but with a different intake manifold. So let's take a look at that. This is our 427 combination, same as before, just with the Trinity intake manifold. So run with the cathedral port heads and the Trinity intake manifold. Peak power is up to 706 horsepower, 707 horsepower. And peak torque was up to, where are we at here? 574 foot-pounds of torque. And just as we saw before, adding the TrickFlow 255 rec port heads improved the power essentially everywhere, a lot like it did with the other intake manifolds. So we're seeing consistent gains with both different intake manifolds and then run with the Trinity intake manifold. This thing produced 716 horsepower and peak torque was up to... 581 foot-pounds. You can look and see, we see a, like we did with the equalizer intake manifold, we're seeing a consistent gain here. We're seeing, you know, gains through the whole RPM range from 3,500 out to past 7,500 RPM. Again, it looks like we might see a little bit of a changeover um, in favor of the cathedral port heads way down low. But again, <laughs> for a combination like this with this big of a camshaft, you're probably not concerned about power production in the 2,500 to 3,000 or 3,500 RPM range. Because if you have an automatic, that's probably where your stall speed is going to be anyway. So if we take a look at this, you rec port guys, now go ahead and make a comment. Here, here's something I want to know. Two things. One, the camshaft that we ran in here with a big split between intake and exhaust, did it favor the rec port head? So let me know. Is it a rec port cam? Technically speaking, from a marketing standpoint, it's actually a nitrous cam. It's also actually labeled as a nitrous cam. So is it a cathedral port nitrous cam? Is it a rec port nitrous cam? Did it favor one head over the other? And while you're making that comment, I want to point you in the direction of the test that I did comparing a rec port head to a cathedral port head and we ran both rec port and cathedral port camshafts in that and found out if one camshaft makes more power than the other camshaft it does so with both of the cylinder heads so go ahead and check that out and you may want to rechange your comment but here you have it <laughs> here here is the uh revenge for all of the ported rec port guys here you have it the rec port heads did better our mr holder please make sure to like share subscribe ring the bell do all that stuff I'll keep testing.